Now the urgent search for a convicted killer who escaped while on the way to a medical appointment in North Carolina. Authorities say they no longer believe he's in the immediate area. Faith Abube joins us now with the latest. Good morning, Faith. Good morning to you, Robin. Authorities have been flooded with tips, but right now they're homing in on two solid leads they hope will take them directly to that convicted killer. This morning, the reward for information leading to the capture of escaped killer Ramon Alston increasing to $35,000, but the ground operation now called off. We feel pretty comfortable from a search standpoint that uh, offender Austin is not in the immediate vicinity. After deploying 335 people from 19 agencies to scour over 1,300 acres in the first 24 hours, investigators are now shifting course. I'll tell you that there are two leads we've got them, and that's a teaser to the folks out there that know what's going on and know that they were involved in it. We, we know you and we're coming for you. Austin escaped Tuesday morning, bolting from a transport vehicle on the way to a medical appointment. The two accompanying guards now being questioned. While Austin may have slipped his leg restraints, his handcuffs and waist chain were still on. An inmate has just ran from the hospital. But Austin was moving too quickly to show what happened. The sheriff has known the fugitive since birth. He's extremely cagey, he's extremely dangerous, and he has nothing to lose. He was serving a life sentence for killing one-year-old Malia Williams in a random shooting in 2015. And the Orange County Sheriff doesn't believe that his guards had anything to do with the escape. He also points out that about 80% of escaped criminals are usually caught within 18 miles of that escape scene within a week. And they're hoping this is one of those times as well. Michael. Yeah, I think the public hopes that is the case there. Thank you so much, Faith.